Hi, my name is Rose. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor your blood sugar. The first thing you need to do is simply wash your hands. The reasons for washing your hands is so that they're clean and you'll get an accurate blood sugar reading. Then you'll need to get your meter out. I've already set my meter up with the date and the time so it'll be ready to go. A couple of things I want to point out about your meter is that there's 800 numbers on the back of your meter. If you have any problems with your meter, simply call your 800 number on the back. This particular meter has two batteries on the back. If the batteries get low, it will give you an icon so that we can change the batteries. The next thing you will need is your strips. Strips are very sensitive to light, temperature, and moisture, so you need to keep them in the vial that they came with. The other thing I want to point out is the expiration date. It's very important that they're not outdated. Do not use strips that are outdated. You may not get good results. Next, you'll want to get out your lancet holder. This particular lancet holder comes with two different colored caps. The solid colored cap that I will be showing today is to be used on the sides of your fingers. The clear cap is to be used on sites when you're not using the sides of your fingers. Today I'm going to use the side of my fingers, so I'm going to take this one away. The reason I'm using the sides of my fingers, it's the most accurate, and when you're using the sides, make sure you use either side, not the pad or the tip using the pad or the tip will hurt. The next thing I need is a lancet needle. I like to put my lancet needle directly into my lancet. It will only go so far down, twist the top, and take this off. Then go ahead and place the cap on. The cap has different sizes of drops. Most lancet holders will either have dots or drops or sometimes they're down here or numbers. The larger the dot, number, or drop, the deeper that needle will go into your finger. So you want to turn this down to the, num the lowest setting possible and still get a good drop of blood. Most lancet holders work on a spring, so I'm simply cocking this and it's going to be ready to use. The next thing I'm going to do is get my vial of strips, open it, closing it. These strips are very user friendly, meaning I can touch them all over. The end with the lines is usually the end that will go into your meter. The side that has the little opening is where the blood will go. So pick up your meter, slide the strip in, and that will turn your meter on. Then you're simply going to wait until the meter prompts you or follow the pictures. It's asking for a drop of blood. At this point, I'm going to take my lancet holder and I'm going to hold it against the side of my finger. If you don't see blood right away, simply milk your finger to get an adequate sample. Once you have a good sample of blood, simply touch the strip against and it will draw it into the strip and now I have about five seconds and it's going to give me a reading. And this is my blood sugar reading. Now you can get your record book out and I would want to put my result in my record book. After that, I'm going to take my strip out of my meter and you can simply throw this away. Now my lancet I want to use my lancet one time. I'm going to take my lancet out and I'm going to place this into a sharps container. If you have any questions about monitoring your blood sugar, please talk to your health care provider. Thank you.